Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. We are checking out Cron Calendar today. Now Cron is currently in early access, so this is going to be a sort of pre-preview. I've been using it for the last week and I wanted to give you a rundown of my experience and how it compares to other applications in terms of the others that are on the market and the ones that are coming out in the future. So we'll talk about there at the end of the video. I'll also share how it works in this video. So you can see in front of me that I have the Mac version. They also have a Windows version in early access available, and I believe they do plan to add a mobile edition in the future. However, this application really aims to be the next generation of calendar for teams and individuals. And as you can see, it is a very nice looking application to start with. One thing I'd have to say is I'm actually an Apple calendar user at the moment, but I think what this calendar does really nicely is it keeps a very plain and simple look. And one of the things that a lot of people have been saying they like in this application is the menu bar, the command bar, that allows you to open up and you can see and make commands from here, including creating an event and more details. Now, across the last week, I did get the opportunity to create events, to share availability, and also just experiment with this application in a little bit of detail. And although I didn't go to, I guess, full extremities, I did really like how this application works. So in order to create an event, you go and drag on the screen. And as you can see on this right hand side, it appears with the details and the time. And what I really liked is how slim and simple this is. Uh, sometimes filling out all of the information that's on, say, Google Calendar is a bit too much information. But I really like how they've really narrowed this down. You can also add your conferencing. So I've created a couple of Google Meets across the week. This one in particular, I created a Google Meet with. And what is nice as well in the top right corner, much like many of the other calendar apps, you can join the Google Meet link over here, which is really cool. So one of the other things that you can do is share availability. And to share availability, you can press S and you basically choose the time that you want. For example, you peg some time out in your calendar that you think is available and it will temporarily keep it as busy and a scheduling link is created. Here's one I created earlier. And as you can see, what's nice is you can either copy and paste this into email or just solely send this link. And let's show you what this link looked like. So what's really nice is you can naturally, much like Calendly and the other applications, you can scrubble through and choose the time and date that is best suited for you. So that was one of the features I think is really nice inside of Cron, having the schedule availability inside of the application in one and something that I quite liked inside of Woven at the same time. So being able to manage my calendar all in one. Now, I would say I'm a little bit different because I've come from Apple Calendar after dropping Woven. So my experience is not necessarily needing more advanced complexity. And I think the design is really attractive with this. However, one thing I'll say is if you directly compare this to an application like Fantastical 3, I would say that Fantastical 3 definitely takes it a step further in terms of how they've designed the application, in terms of complexity and the features in terms of being able to get more in-depth features without compromising their design. I think if you put a head-to-head -head comparison, although this one doesn't currently have a pricing setup, I think that you'd have to say Fantastical uh, does take it. However, it's still early days. This is early access for Cron. And I've seen by their change log that they actually added month view which is quite fast to be able to add additions and uh, things like that. Now, one of the things I quite liked about the setup was actually having the weekends off and on and the week numbers on, but I also like the numbers of days views. Now, for example, if I wanted to see a three day view, I could quickly scrubble to that. And as you can see, I can see three days worth of my, tar my, my calendar events, which is really nice. And as you can see, it links with the majority of my other calendars that I've connected up with other applications. Now, overall, the design was really impressive when using this application. Coming from Apple Calendar, it is a slight upgrade in terms of things like the fonts, things like the colors, and things like the UI. However, it did follow a very similar scheme in terms of what it looks like. Now, as I said, I would probably say that Fantastical is a better all-round option. 
but we're yet to see the pricing for Cron, and we're yet to see this application fully flourish in my opinion. It's really against the other applications that I'd have to make sure that this is something that will stand up against them. So in the next year, we're going to see a flurry of new calendar applications, applications like Rise, applications like Daybridge, Magical. They're all trying to compete in a range of different ways. Ones with the team markets, ones with the individuals markets. And at the same time, they're going to come up against some big competition. And some of these applications already have key sort of differentiators uh, in comparison with, for example, Cron. So, for example, like with Mayday at the moment, which is going to be released, they have a focus feature in helping you to channel your time and plan, I guess, more um, time orientated. You also have Daybridge, which is more of a social calendar, which connects to your, for example, your flight information, your email, and it will be a bit more of a sort of collective sunrise-like experience in bringing all your calendars together. And finally, you have things like Magical, which is much more of a Teams note-taker calendar application, but really trying to reduce the amount of meetings you have. So whilst this is a really beautiful application, it's much more at the moment like an Apple calendar alternative than versus its own key differentiators compared to these other applications. And as I said, it's early days with this application, but I definitely love the design. I definitely like how easy it is to use. And at the moment, it is currently my default calendar. As I'm using Apple Calendar, I'll probably replace it with Cron because the experiences are not that different. And it's nice to have the availability and scheduling function, as well as some of the great abilities in creating events and, and being able to see these different views as well. So there are my very early thoughts on Cron. Let me know what you think in the description below. I think there was a great quote or message from one of the community, Frank, who regularly reviews these sort of applications. And he did say he was slightly underwhelmed with Cron. And I do understand what he means in comparison with an application like Fantastical and some of these ones that are coming in the future. But I do hold out hope for this application to the extent that I think it will be and have a place in the market. It won Productivity App of the Year award, and that doesn't go without saying, you know, and being able to be on Windows straight away is a huge win for them. So I think over the next couple of weeks, we'll be keeping our close eye on Cron, and I'll be using it to really get a better understanding of the application and how it grows in the future. Anyway, folks, please do check out the link in description to all our sort of subscribe um, and, and, and be able to follow. You can comment uh, as well below uh, if you fancy sharing your opinion on Cron, if you tried it. And I'll talk to you all in the future. Hopefully, I'll see you very soon and have a great week ahead.